The size of the fret device should match the size of the vessel. If the device is smaller than the vessel, there is risk of migration and endo leak. If the device is too large for the vessel, it may be difficult to deploy, especially in tortuous vasculature. Do not oversize by more than 0.5 millimeters. Position the microcatheter in the desired location, distal to the aneurysm. Advance the FRED system to the desired location. Here you can clearly see FRED approaching the distal tip of the microcatheter. Here you can see the stent distal flared end markers followed by the headway microcatheter proximal tip marker. The desired technique for deploying the FRED device within a fusiform aneurysm is to give yourself enough of a distal landing zone in order to properly anchor the stent, ensuring that the stent does not contract or herniate into the aneurysm. Here you can clearly see the tantalum helical strands well opposing the vessel wall. While deploying within the fusiform aneurysm, you will notice more foreshortening of the stent length. At 50% of the deployment, check to see where your proximal ends are of the FRED device using the 50-50 rule. Here we can see that we do not have enough length. Therefore, we must resheath the device and reposition. Maintain a forward motion on the microcatheter with pull on the delivery system to resheath. Reposition the device again to the desired location to ensure there is enough stent length. Use the push pull technique to smoothly and evenly deploy the stent. Do not try to bulge or compress the FRED device as the stent may herniate into the aneurysmal portion of the artery. Here you can see proximal markers of the FRED device just behind the distal tip of the microcatheter coming into view.